You! It is salty. It's salty here. Their video. And this is. On the salty, salty, salty. PlayStation. Yes, it's a uh, PlayStation 4 firmware update 5.0. The big update. The update that potentially can cater to everyone's needs finally. Beta testing, I believe, shall be starting today or. No, they, yeah, you can actually sign up today to be a beta tester. I'm not personally going to sign up because, one, I don't want that shit fucking up my saves or anything like that. Two, like, you know, it is a beta, so, like, I don't want anything to happen to my PS4. That's just me. But you guys might be different, so. And I shall leave in the description, you know, if you do want to sign up for the firmware update 5.0, then, you know, check it out. And you guys should be good to go. And the main things we want to see, what I want to see in this update it's one, allow us to change our online ID, Sony. What the fuck is you waiting for, yo? My name is so shitty, yo. Like, I'm sure, like, everyone probably, if you're at least, like, 20 or 19 now, like me or some shit, probably made your ID back in, like, what, 2013, maybe, like, 2012, when you were maybe 13, 15. I, I I'm a, like, my ID is JDH1921. It's, it's retarded. I don't even know, I don't even know why I even named myself 1921, because, like, then when I got online, people thought I was, like, an old-ass man, and I was like, really? I, mean, I didn't have, like, a squeaker voice in Call of Duty, but it was still, like, pretty fucking awkward, but, yeah. Either, it was either that I was gonna, or I was gonna call myself Marshmallow Man 122 and I just chose JD's 1921, but yes, please, Sony, for the love of God, allow us to change our online ID. I know Shuha Yoshida has stated that the main reason they can't really do it is because um, they have to rework the whole PlayStation Network system just to, like, actually change our names, which is like, okay, okay, but, I mean, your competitor, you know, Microsoft, Xbox, they easily allow you to change your names, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but, yeah, that'd be nice, hopefully they can do that. And second, and the second, I'm sorry, the second update I like to see, sort of like how the PS3 had it, like, yes, I know PS4 does technically allow for custom backgrounds now, but, like, I want it to be simple, like, you just go, like, remember how the PS3 was, like, you open up the PS3 web browser, and in the settings, I believe, you could do, like, click to download this image, or something of the sort like that, I want it to be like that with the PS4, like, I know, like, we could take a screenshot, then we just sort of like crop it out and then make that the home screen i, I don't want to do that sony for the please sony 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 <laughs> allow me to simply go to the web browser and click on a photo and download that motherfucker and put it on the back of my own screen i would appreciate that like I'm a, i would appreciate that shit yeah and uh let's see um so yeah so two is like so more so expand on the custom backgrounds, at least through the web browser. That'd be that'd be fucking lit. Three, for me at least. Well you see, I don't have a PS4 Pro because I do not have a 4K TV, so I can't like make any recommendations or like well, say what I would have want for uh, my PS4 Pro or for my 4K features because I absolutely don't have one. I'll get one eventually, but again, motherfuckers are expensive at least if you want to top it online you know good 4k tv like uh the samsung ks8000 i think that's still like what two thousand bucks i think that was on amazon or it might be actually listed lower than that i have to recheck again but, you know like a good entry level 4k tv is going to cost some money it's going to like ah uh, no <laughs> i'm all right with my 1080p right now i don't know console peasant well not even console peasant but a casual i am right oh, okay yeah check my uh Check my game collection, yeah. You gotta let me then. But anyways, well the dirt feature that I want. I do want PlayStation Ooh, yeah, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility. That would be lit. Although like technically they already made like remasters of like the God of Wars and Did they I don't know if they remastered Tony Hawk Proving Ground. I don't I know they did remaster Sly Cooper, but it'd be kinda just cool to like, you know, just replay those old games again and their nostalgic feel i know the graphics will look turdy and sh like shitty but it'd be cool so that way like kind of like there's like massive collectors out there to have like a whole load of ps2 games and ps1 games that if they could just like easily pop it into their ps4 they would like be set for life <laughs> pretty much but um that'd be awesome though if sony could do that because, like, I wouldn't mind playing the, playing the, like, original Sly Cooper. I still got it, too. The original Sly Cooper. I do have the remaster, too, for my PS3. But, yeah, Sly Cooper is a shit. But, yeah, it'd be cool to play those old PS2 games. Just easily 
pop into our PS4. And I could say the same for PS3 too, but of course the PS3 cell architecture and going from that to x86 by 84 for the PS4, that would just raise compatibility issues and Sony is as well. Yeah, that, that'd just be hell for Sony to do. So I can understand why they haven't done it, and that's why PlayStation Now exists, which I'm using in the video. But <laughs> yeah, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility would be sweet. And fourth, this is not really for me, but I know for a good amount of people it might be. I would recommend Sony to probably revamp their reporting system. And here I'll say this, I don't really don't give a shit what people say online. You no, know, it's the internet. People say whatever they want, you know. They're anonymous, especially during online. <laughs> but um, of course, I know that they are. There are kids that you know do play on the PS4 or whatnot. Blah blah. Who really gives a shit about these little fuckers? But <laughs> um, and I know in the first place they shouldn't even be playing Call of Duty or some shit like that. But I know for some people too, like you know, some one just might be harassing them through messages. And I know it's. I'm not sure if it's still convoluted when you try to like literally report them and they only give you an option of. Um, like, what, what did they say? Like, some shit about, oh, this player was harassing me, or something like that. I, I don't know, but I know people still complain about Sony's reporting system, so maybe they could revamp that. Not really a big deal to me, but some of it might be. But honestly, three main things I really want to see from Sony is first, as again, I don't have a PS4 Pro, so I can't really speak on 4K features or anything like that. But first, <laughs> would be online name change. That is... If they can't, like, literally change our online name, just, I don't know, find some way to, like, maybe change, like, how our, how people online view us, I guess. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, Sony, they have talented engineers. They should, they, they can figure out a way. I'm sure they can. But, yeah, online name change, that's definite. That honestly should have been in update 4.50. It should have been in there a long time ago. But, yeah, for the big 5.0, make online name change. Second expand on a custom backgrounds, make it like the PS3 where I simply go to the web browser, I click on some hot ass anime chick and I make her my background. Hashtag hentai. That's what I fucking want, Sony. <laughs> you feel me? And third would be PS2 and PlayStation 1 backgrounds and compatibility. That would be pretty convenient and sweet. And if they could add trophy support as well, that'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice. But um, yeah. And, you know, four, if not really a big deal to me, but it could be for a good amount of people. Revamp the, you know, reporting system. They honestly don't have to do that because I don't really care, but that was just, like, me making recognition for, like, everyone they really wanted that. But, again, that's what the three mainly I want to see, at least for me, because I'm just a vanilla PS4 user. I don't have a 4K TV or PS4 Pro. But let me know what you guys want in the comment section. I'm sure you guys have PS4 Pros. I'm sure you guys want Sony to do some more with uh, 4K textures, you know, some shit like that. And then revamping, you know, maybe improve boost mode, I guess, <laughs> you know, for the uncapped frame rates and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know what you guys would want in this big PS4 5.0 update. We can at least expect custom names. I really do feel Sony's will at least do something with that. Because they've been hiding this for a minute. So, yeah. But that's going to be the end of this video, guys. So, again, if you do want to sign up for the 5.0 update, it's in the description. And, yeah. That'll be it for this video. And, again, let me know what you guys want in this 5.0 update. This is LOE Salty, signing out. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Sayonara. Shorty, shorty, shorty.